however, the Vikings remain unstoppable. In the late 9th century, Vikings raid cities around the Mediterranean as far as Constantinople. By the early 10th century, the Vikings achieved their only permanent foothold in Western Europe. In 911, an enormous armada of Viking ships lands at the mouth of the River Seine in France. Leading the invasion is the Viking chieftain known as Rolf the Walker, who earned the nickname because he was too large for any horse to carry. Unable to fight them off, the French king decides to offer the Norsemen a treaty, ceding them the land if they will defend it from other Viking attacks. And in this treaty, Rolf, who in France comes to be known as Rollo, agrees to convert to Christianity in return for settling the lands at the mouth of the Seine. The new kingdom, destined to be the most powerful in Europe, is named for the French term for the Vikings, Nordmani, or Normandy. By 912, Rollo and his men make good on their bargain by converting to the Christian faith. But the Norse way of life does not thrive here. The Vikings tended to assimilate very rapidly. Those people who went abroad on ships, especially to Europe, taking lands by force in England and in France and places like that, they were basically young men, and they took native wives. Within a few decades, even the Norse language is all but forgotten. And yet, the Viking taste for conquest would not.